Hey everyone, it's actually time for another devlog for Fortify 2. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I don't think I will ever be finished with this game. Um, I've, this was like two years since the last devlog. And I've been working on a lot of other stuff. I'm finishing off, finishing up my uh, university studies. So I should be done with that by the summer. So there's a lot of work with that. And like I said, another game. But I'm really enjoying working on this game, so um, I will try to make updates from from time to time, just to uh, if I manage to make something worthwhile showing. So since last time, it's actually happened a lot, from if I remember correctly. So I've added, I removed the lighting system because. I didn't write it myself, from scratch at least. I mean, I changed it a little bit, but I didn't write it myself, so I didn't understand all of it. It was sort of confusing. I had to have all this weird stuff. I didn't like it. it just made everything more complicated. <coughs> but I did add my own, from scratch, shader for this, uh, uh, for the shadows. And uh, so that looks really nice. It's not perfect yet. I need to still work a little bit on it. Um, but it looks pretty good. And they are not moving, so they're static. But I can change the time of day and stuff. But I'll have to like make a reload or uh, because it takes a while to calculate all of these uh, height maps and shadow maps that you see at the top right corner. Anyway, I've broken a few things and I've fixed another couple of things. So the first thing you notice, notice maybe is this new heads up display down at the bottom. It's sort of similar, but I've shortened it before it was the entire length. I'm trying to minimize it uh, and make so hide information away so it's only so you only see it if you need to, basically. So for example, I want to see this guy's stats. I can just hover my mouse over this portrait. And all of these detail, detailed stats can be shown, can be seen. Before I had them in this box here and it was kind of unnecessary. It just took up a lot of space that didn't need, uh, I didn't have to. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do with this black square that I left, but I figured I, there's always something that I can put there. So it's there for now. The other thing is that you can see this abilities thing pops up when I select a character that has abilities. So I can also, and I can, I've set up the system for me to change the key bindings for this too. So this is bound to Q and this is to E. And this still works the same. I can create that. And I have nothing to shoot at, so I can't use this. Uh, and I can also click the abilities if I want that. Uh, okay, so that's nice. That took, that looks nice. And again, it's something that I'm trying to work on the polish of this game now. I, my goal has always been to finish the first three levels, and they are going to be three very different levels. So the first one is really introductory, the second level is going to be just your hero, just learning how to use spells and uh, leveling up your character and stuff. And the third level is going to be more of a classic fortify level where you have your castle, creatures are attacking, and you will... Uh, defend it, and in Fortify 2 you'll also be able to build and repair your castle and stuff. I haven't gotten very far with that, but like I said, I got a lot of, a lot of stuff to do. So now we have just uh, another dialogue here. I'm just gonna skip it. And it's the same mission as the first uh, mission has always been, but I changed the level design around a little bit to make it more clear. At least, in my opinion, it's more clear. And this basically still works the same. I think I mostly covered everything so far. But the big part was, like, a few months ago I worked hard on this shadow system. 
uh, and also fixed animations yeah for the characters and I used characters for the Fortify Special Edition from Fortify Special Edition that I worked on a while back and now the first level is kind of is breaking <coughs> because I need to fix an a, the a star an a star algorithm for the enemies but just like with the lighting system I would like to do that myself and currently I have not had the time to do that but I'm, that's sort of the next part I'm going to work on so all of the enemies like you could see so we're stuck here um, because their pathfinding is not working I might add something same uh, once I've added an A star algorithm for pathing then I will probably use that for all of my units as well but for now I'm still using the game maker built in one yeah I think that's it I have some experimental shader uh, shadow ob casting objects here so that I'm trying to make work like I said there are a few kinks left for example there should be these spikes here should be casting shadows on top of the platform for the tower but they, it isn't for some reason and yeah but these are some experiments like you can see what I can do with these shadows they, this is a normal just a block high object this is a tall object that's floating or standing on something this one has like a pillar inside in the middle and then a plat uh, thin platform and this is like a tower and this is a thin platform that's floating so that's sort of it I can do pretty complex um, shapes but not too much but it's gonna it's gonna work for what I want to do so I guess that's it that's oh it's seven and a half minutes already yeah so this is a devlog like I said I'm not sure I'm ever going to finish this game but I like I said I also enjoy working on it so why not make an update when I have something to show and um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time whenever that may be see ya